this one. You are a cultural nomad yourself. <laughs> your okay, I'm going to make sure that you put that in there. Design can be seen as a rarefied discipline, but the way I see it is that everybody is a designer in one way or another. I'd like to look at design from two vantage points. One, design as a noun, and then design as a verb. So when you look at design as a noun, it refers to something that is created, produced, uh, the result of a system, it is an artifact. But when you look at design as a verb, that, I think, is what we all are engaged in. When you practice design like I do, because I am trained as a graphic designer, I don't just look at designing from the point of view of creating an artifact. I look at the context. I look at people who use these objects and then expand the context of which I am designing. This is something I teach my students, that yes, you're designing this thing. Yes, you're designing an object. You may be designing a system. You're also looking at your client, their needs, you're solving problems. You're looking at them beyond who they are in this room. You're looking at what shapes them, what is around them, what is meaningful to them. It is important to be empathetic, to be able to see beyond what we have, what we know, what we have left behind, and then absorb what is in front of us. This is not always easy because I think we are trained to kind of hang on to the things that we are comfortable with, things that we know are easy. When you're a designer and you're confronted with a problem, with a situation that is very different from yours, I think it's important to bottom yourself out, to in a way be emptied of your own preconceptions so that you're able to absorb what the other person is telling you. And this is what design can do.